Hey everybody, my name is Zosha. I'm an independent musician and a freelance graphic designer. And in this video, I'm gonna teach you how I created this Chrome style logo. It's a super fun style to play around with in Photoshop, so let's get started. The first thing I did was purchase this font on Creative Market called Acid Font. It has a bit of a sci-fi futuristic feel, which is what I was looking for. So then I brought it into Photoshop. So I created a pretty huge file size so that I could have a lot of crisp details. So I converted the type into a smart object by right clicking and convert to smart object. And the first step is to turn the fill down to zero. So you can do that up here. You can also double click in and do it right here. Okay, so number one is adding bevel and emboss. So I'm gonna show you the settings that I used for mine, but you'll wanna play around with all the settings to see what works best with your font or shape. So I have it at an inner bevel, smooth. My depth is at 344, size 24, and just a tiny bit of softness. And the most important thing for this style is to change the gloss contour to this M shape. So just click the down arrow and change it. You'll see the difference here is straight. When you change it to this shape, it becomes much more chrome-like. And then I have a white highlight on this um, opacity 45 and highlight mode lighten. And then for my shadow, I have black on an overlay at 66% opacity. Okay, next I, I added a stroke. I'm not sure if this is totally necessary. Let's see if I change the background. I added a black stroke, which isn't totally necessary. You can see how it looks. Next, I added a gradient overlay. Um, I created a gradient which was mostly black and white and gray, but I added just a hint of a light purple. So I added an inner glow, which is actually um, a gradient here. So it's from gray to white, but I actually have the opacity fading to just 30% so it doesn't cover the whole type. Um, and I also have the opacity at 34% with a linear dodge add blend. Um, so then I wanted a hint of another color so I added a light blue satin. Um, linear Again, linear dodge add, opacity 63. <laughs> with, um, I chose this contour, again, just kind of play around with different colors, opacities, contour shapes, see what looks good for your shape. There's absolutely no right or wrong way to do this style. Okay, so that's it for my first layer, and it's already looking pretty cool, getting a little bit of a chrome feel, but I wanna add a second layer, so just duplicate that, Again, gonna turn the fill down to zero. And to this one, I added another bevel and emboss, but to bring in a new color, I set the highlight mode to this bright purple. And then also with the bevel and emboss, you'll wanna go in and play around with the, the shading angle because it can change a lot when you move it around you get a lot more or less of the highlight color let's see what else did I do to this one so if you want to have an outer glow you can add it to this layer I think I exported a version with a glow and without depending on where it's gonna be used um, okay so you know keep playing around with a lot of different things you can add tons more color, more dimension, but the next step is my favorite because this is where it really comes to life, which is the curves. 
So add a curve layer by clicking down here and curves. And now you just kind of mess up the line. Just pull it in different directions and see what happens. The colors will become really vivid, really contrasty, contrasted, whatever. Uh, and ah, and it starts to look really metallic, really uh, shiny. So yeah, play with that. This is what I ended up with. So look at that difference without with uh, the last step is going to be adding shine shine spots of shine you know what I mean I used a brush that I probably got on brush easy at some point um, let's see so here is what it looks like and then I added two other ones here and there and yeah thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this tutorial be sure to subscribe because i'll be uploading a lot more just like this and i'll see you in the next video